Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mastanox and welcome back to GTA 5. Now, um, for this video, instead of doing like DLC stuff or the races and just talking about, um, I'm actually going to talk about uh, some of the mysteries that are in GTA 5 and some of the things that people have been wanting to solve literally since the game was released, but they still kind of remain a mystery. Uh, I know there's been a lot of progression. Um, if you watch uh, some of the people like uh, Sanando and 0.5, uh, a lot of the stuff they've done has really, really helped progress. And obviously, I know a lot of like um, a lot of their work is obviously helped out by other people as well. I obviously I don't know everyone's name, so I can't give credit. Unfortunately, I would love to because there's been some really talented ones, and I just killed that thing. Maybe, whoops. Anyway, yeah, so one of the first things I want to talk about, which um, t people are probably sick of hearing by now because it's, it's literally everywhere, is um, I just, the only reason I'm talking about this is because mainly because I just kind of want to refresh everything that like, is known. So you have these doors, like the TO1 door or the TO2 door, and though they're really, really confusing because they seem to just be there for no reason at all in the side of like the mountain, which seems a bit strange, like, I mean, there's there's a number of different reasons they could be there. They could be uh, electricity rooms to run all the lights and stuff in here, um, you know, things things just like that. They could be, they could be secrets, they could be like military things or something, I don't know. There's a number of different things that they could be. Okay, so basically... I don't know, there's there's not really much known about this tunnel. I mean, there's some myths and theories and stuff. Um, but you can hear that metal clunking sound. I don't know quite what that is. Like, I, d I don't know. Um, there's some, there's some like, videos online that you can find uh, of, like, people going around this door and you can hear whispering. Personally, I've never heard it. Um... I don't know if it's real or fake. I I genuinely haven't been able to hear it. So uh, same as uh, people think there's like stuff crawling through these vents, but I mean to be fair, if you actually come to the side, it's not actually a vent. It's just it's just lights on the ceiling. So I don't really quite know how that works, but I don't know. Personally, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's real or fake. I haven't heard it, but that, that's the TO1 door and the TO2 doors looked at. I mean, there's not really much else to say about them besides the fact that they're just a bit strange that they're there. They don't really seem to serve much purpose as far as we know. Um, one of the other things I wanted to look at was the... Uh, uh, what was it? Oh, right. Uh, if you go on your phone... And you go on here. There's actually, uh, if you if you watch, I believe, uh, I think it was 0.5 that pointed this out, and I think he got this from some other sources, but I can't remember the name. So I'm just gonna say that I, you know, I'm not the person who discovered this. Um, okay. Um, actually, to be fair, I didn't even need to search anything. It's actually right here. This is the um, Altruists uh, site. This is a very weird kind of website and it's based on, uh, if you've been up into the mountains, then you'll know there's that weird like cult type place and they sacrifice people on a rock and stuff like that. And this is their website. This is the website they have made. Uh, it's literally all in Morse code so I don't actually know what any of this says. Uh, I could actually go and figure it out. I could do that right now if I wanted to. It might take a while, but I mean, it could be fun. It could be a fun idea. So uh, what we'll do then is we will try and do this together, shall we? So if we, if we figure this out quick, let's go on to our phone and I'm going to just try and see what 
Morse code is like I'm going to try to figure it out and see what's what because I do not know Morse code as much as it would be cool uh, I don't actually know Morse code so we're going to figure it out okay so I downloaded some Morse code app um, just I just downloaded a random one it doesn't really Nah, you could you could probably go do this yourself and just do anything really. So we are going to try and decode some of this stuff because I think it'd be quite cool. Okay, so I finally uh, figured it out and I know exactly what it says now. Um, it looks a bit weird on my screen, but I will write it on the screen for you guys to see. Um, if you don't, uh, if you haven't already like figured it out yourself. Uh, it actually says the industrial revolution has been a disaster to the stability of the human race so that's actually quite interesting um that's the first part of the website decoded then to be fair so what i might actually do is i might in my own time do all the other ones and then i'll make like an entire another video on them and I think that would be kind of cool. So, I'm going to leave this video here on a very, very creepy ending after what we've seen. So, yeah, so that first line, uh, the Industrial Revolution has been uh, a disaster to the stability of the human race. It's very, very weird. Very creepy. And I definitely want to figure out what the rest of it says. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, helps a lot. Leave a comment below if you want to see more. And let me know if you want me to do the rest of the Morse code, and I will figure it out. And yeah, so once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye bye. Wow, that is a very creepy end to an episode I really oh that's just weird oh mysteries are being solved yeah